Selena, for me, she was the first person who looked like me who was on television. Around the time that she died, around the tide of her fame, she, I was a child, I was eight. And next to my grandfather when I was five years old, she was the first person who I felt like I kind of knew or had a connection with that passed away. To see that at her, the height of her fame and then to see her just be gone the next day was really um, kind of mind-blowing. To know that someone had killed her uh, in cold blood, it was really, really sad for a, for a really long time. I feel like I've been kind of chasing her. I just loved her and I loved her to, like, like she was my religion as a kid. Okay, let's go spray my hair. Selena is a huge undertaking. But I've been trying to look like Selena my whole life and I've been practicing to look like Selena my whole life. Leading up to it, I'm always like, well, this doesn't look right, this isn't gonna look right, this isn't gonna look right. It's all in the lipstick. I can feel her like energy and vibes coming through me whenever I put the red lipstick on. It is a process, but I would know that I would be disappointed as a fan if it didn't look a very specific way. Rock the lot. Bitty Bitty Banda is Austin's first all-star Selena tribute band. Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce to you Bitty Bitty Banda. Uno! The goal was never to be Selena forever, but you, I get when I get out there and I see these people just dying to hear these songs, and then uh, I get such a, a rush of energy and such a like emotional high off of watching that. This is so corny, but I say it every time I talk about it. It feels like she's with me, and it feels like she's saying, "It's okay, you got this. They got this, and even if you don't got this, <laughs> the audience has it. They know all the words." but it's a dream come true, but a musical dream come true. As long as people want to see me sing, singing Selena music, I'll, I'll uh, keep doing it.